All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do a piece of art that is based on the artist James Rizzi. So hopefully you had a chance to take a look at some of his pictures that are up on my website next to this video that you're watching right now. Here is, I printed out some of his pictures of birds or paintings, I should say. And look at his birds, aren't they really cool? What do you notice about them? All right, and here's another one right here. What I notice are the bright colors, the kind of cartoon style that he has, and also these big, thick black lines. He also gives a lot of personality to his birds, his moon, his sun. Some look happy, some look sad, some look in love. All right, so they're really happy, colorful drawings. So we're gonna do something like this, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to draw it. We are going to use a marker to draw it, okay? You can use just a regular marker that you have at home. I'm gonna use a Sharpie because I want you to be able to really see what I'm drawing. If you don't have a Sharpie, that's okay. If you don't have a marker, just use a black crayon, okay? We're gonna color it in with crayons. All right, I have these crayons here. They're big and fat and thick, but you guys use whatever you have, okay? So I am gonna get a fresh piece of paper and I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so I wanna do two birds, okay? Not just one or not four, all right? So we're gonna start on the left-hand side and we're gonna put one bird, probably a little bit bigger than your hand, my hand's kind of big, and then another bird over here. So let's start with the eyes of the bird. I know Mrs. G always likes to start with the eyes. So find the center of your paper and we're gonna slide over a little bit and we're gonna just start with two eyes. So I'm just gonna put two circles for the eye. One and two. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a pupil. You can put your pupils anywhere you want. You can put them up towards the top, down towards the bottom. You can have them cross-eyed, go in any way. So the next thing I wanna do is do the head. So I'm gonna to start to the side of the eyes and we're just gonna draw an oval around. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And again, anytime you wanna pause this and come back, that's great. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna add the beak. The beak is just really just a triangle shape. So we're gonna come down like that and back up, a V I guess would be a good way to describe it. Let's give two little dots so they can have that on their beak. Now we're gonna do the side of the body. Now I put my head pretty close, so I might put my tail on the other side. So I am gonna start here and I'm gonna curve it down and I'm gonna bring it around and up. All right, and then I'm gonna come back to this beak and I'm just gonna connect those like that. There's the body. All right, so let's give our, our birds some feathers. So we're just gonna do these wavy lines to give some feathers right here. Let's give two legs down and really simple feet. We can make a V and go down or make it upside down V I should say and there. Now you can add a little more personality to you. You can give your bird some hair. You can give your bird some eyebrows. You can give your bird some eyelashes if you want. It's up to you. It's your drawing. All right. Now we're gonna go on to the second bird. Let's put the other bird here. You can make this bird a little bit smaller, same size, a little bit bigger, up to you. All right, so we are gonna start with the eye. Now this time I wanna be able to have like a sideways view of my bird. So I'm only gonna put one eye. 
So let's come here and I am just going to draw. I'm going to have this bird a little bit smaller, so I'm going to move it down a little bit and I'm just going to do a circle. And again, we're going to come in and add that pupil. All right. Now, what I want you to do is hop over this side and let's draw a sideways V. How's that? Okay. Now we're going to start at the top of the V or triangle and we're going to come up and around that eye and down just like that. Okay. Now we want to do the rest of the body. So let's hop down here to the bottom. Well, let's, let's give our beak, let's finish our beak a little bit. All right. And then we can curve it like that. How's that? Now let's start at the bottom of the beak and we're going to come down. We're going to curve it over to the side of that paper. Come all the way up here and stop. So it's like a great big U shape. All right, now we're going to come back to the head and let's come here, come down, come back up here and just connect those lines. So now we have our bird facing sideways and this bird has a much smaller beak than this bird. So let's go ahead and add some feathers on a wing. All right, let's add some legs. It's one, two, we're going to do our upside down V, add a foot, a toe in the middle, do that here. Let's go up. You can add a little hair if you want. You can add some eyelashes. Again, you don't have to. And I'm going to add an eyebrow. All right. Now we want we have these two birds and they're just floating in the white space. So where should we put them? I'm going to put them outside on the ground. So I'm going to show the ground. I'm going to start right about here. Okay. So we're going to do a wavy line, but when you get to your leg, you can hop behind it, hop behind it, come on over here, stop, hop behind it, hop behind and go all the way to the end. All right, now let's put a sun in. Where should we put our sun? I'm going to put mine over here. Nice big sunny day. You could put a moon if, if you want. All right, I'm going to add some eyes. Now, normally, Mrs. G says we don't want to put the sun this way, but this is the way this artist drew his sons. All right, so we can add some rays of sunshine. Right now, the sun is shining outside for a little while, so I am happy. Now, I'm going to add some hearts because they are just fun but you don't have to add the hearts. James Rizzi showed a lot of hearts in his pictures. They were all about happiness and love. Okay, so we can add some hearts. Maybe we want to add some clouds. So for a cloud, we just want to bumpy line, curve around, bumpy line. All right, just like that. Maybe a little one over here. When you make your clouds, don't make them all the same size. Make some big, some little. And I think we need some flowers in the grass down here because it's spring and I don't know about you, but my flowers are starting to come up. So flowers any way you want. I'm going to do a simple flower like this with a circle and petals. Then I'm going to have the stem coming down and let's have a couple leaves. All right, maybe we want to do one over here. Maybe we'll do a U shape, bring it over and over. Maybe another little triangle there. Bring that down. Let's add some really simple flowers here. I'm going to put maybe just one more over here. And I think that might be enough. You can put more flowers if you want. Have fun, it's your picture. All right, that looks good. 
Um, so now what we want to do is we want to color it in. Okay, so how I would color it is I would grab my crayons. All right, so we are ready to color this in. Now I know you guys all know how to color in with crayons. Again, you can use your crayons at home. Um, I'm gonna use these fat crayons that I have here. Now, the thing I want you to try is we're gonna try a little blending with crayons. It's something different. Uh, we don't usually use crayons in the art room. Uh, we do use oil pastels. So what I want you to do is pick a color for one of your birds and then start to color it in. Okay. And then what we're going to do is right around the edge of the bird, we are going to add another color. Okay. It's just another material technique I'm going to show you that you can use with what you have at home to make it look a little bit different and a little bit like James Rizzi. All right, so I'm gonna color this pretty fast. You guys take your time. All right, and once I get my whole bird one color, now you can also, if you want to do the head, you could do the head a slightly different color. So I'm coloring this in. You can press hard. If you want a real rich, deep color, you can press lightly if you want a lighter value of, right now I'm using pink. Now, I'm gonna color it in. Make sure you can still see those black lines. If you can't and you go over them, we can always go over our black lines at the very end. All right, so here's my body and I've colored it in all pink. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take either a blue or maybe even a purple and add just a line of color on the outside. Just kind of blending the two colors together gives it a little bit different type of look. And I'll show you why we're doing this. We're going to go around. Because, and I don't know if you can see, but if you look at some of James Rizzi's, that is exactly what he did in his paintings, okay? And these actually might have been cut out and made into a three-dimensional. I think this one was three-dimensional. This one was probably just a painting. But even here, I don't know if you can see how he has the pink outline where it's kind, and here he blends the colors of the pink and the purple. So we're gonna try that. All right, I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna carefully press going around. So I want you guys to try this at home. It's just another technique that we can use with what we have at home. And then if you see this, you can go over it again and maybe press a little harder and see what happens. You can even add another color in here if you wanna take a purple and add a purple real lightly in some spaces, just down here, and then go over with your pink again. Now again, your bird does not have to be pink, blue, and purple. You can make your bird different values of green, different values of purple, orange, all right, you do what colors you like. Now this is gonna be a real bright spring picture. Okay. And there we go, that's the body. Okay, so you're gonna continue that with um, the head. Then you're going to color in your second bird, whatever color you want. Remember to go around the bird with another color, okay, and blend it in. Now you can see that on the grass, I just used one color, but you can try that different blending technique with the grass, as well as the sun. See how I colored it in one color and then went around the edge with another color. All right, so that's about it. That is our James Rizzi bird 
like um, piece of art. And I think it's gonna be really something fun that you can hang up at home for spring. So that's it. That's all you have to do to make this really cool picture for um, art class this week, okay? So once you're finished, you can hang it on your refrigerator, take a picture of it, send it to Mrs. G, show me a picture of you drawing. I would love to see you drawing at home, okay? I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will be back next week. Bye.